Let's sum the values in column B that are the result of a formula. Looking at this data set, there is no consistent pattern to recognize those total values and they occur at irregular intervals. Let's do this. We will begin by writing our formula in the adjacent cells in column C and then we'll bring it all together in our aggregation formula. And we're going to begin with the is formula function. This will return a true or false as to whether a formula is present. So running that on the adjacent column B values, in fact, let's select the whole range to get the spill effect. And here we have our trues or falses, depending on whether a formula is present. Now from the back of that, we want to convert them to numeric values. There's numerous ways of doing that. One of them would be to proceed that function with our double unary. We could also bring it into a mathematical calculation that doesn't affect its value, or we could use the end function. That will convert them to zeros and ones. With this done, we want to find the product of those corresponding ranges and then ultimately sum those results. The ideal function for this is sum product. So let's go and copy our formula. Here we go and escape that. And in cell B1, I'll paste that in and surround it with our sum product function. Array one is the, what we have done. Clicking on the end, comma for array two, and this will be our range of values. Closing us off, that will find the product of those corresponding arrays and sum them, which for us means that we have summed the values that are the result of a formula only, ignoring any constant values. We can then proceed to remove column C. It was only created to assist us in constructing the ultimate formula. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick formula example. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive the latest Excel tutorials. Take care, I'll see you again soon.